pleasure this morning to welcome you all to this World Environmental Day 2023. Today, the Angami Youth Organization, in collaboration with the School Education Department, Government of Nagaland, we are celebrating this World Environmental Day with a theme, Go Green, Go Green, Breathe Clean. I repeat, Go Green, Breathe Clean. As we all know that our generation, our responsibility, it is our responsibility to preserve and to conserve our environment. We have the Nagaland Police Central School, 36 students. We have Jafar Christian College, Kigwema, 55 students. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful pleasure to have you all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this special day. We thank you for the beauty of creation. My dear student friends and everyone present here this morning, I, on behalf of the Angani Youth Organization, bring greetings on this World Environment Day. The Angami Youth Organization in particular, in the year 2010, that was during Sir Televi Susistene, adopted a resolution that we will protect our environment and our wildlife. Till today, the Angami Youth Organization had requested and kept the principles of protecting our environment and wildlife from 2010 and every village through the youth organization has been implementing the, resolu the resolution that was passed. The present tenor of the Angami Youth Organization we have come up with a humble campaign seeking the support of the entire community on the theme a cleaner and vibrant Kohima. We plan to reach out to every school going kid that let us all promote and inculcate the good habits of cleanliness and hygiene. Today, the 5th of June, which is the World Environment Day, we are honored to be kicking off our campaign through the presence of our Honorable Advisor, Dr. Kekri Romer. We hope that with this beginning, we will be able to achieve greater and more heights in the days to come. We hope that our today's gathering here will be a personal message to the people and then the public in general. Thank you and I hope all of you put your best effort to make this day a success. Thank you. I to take you home and then fly in your at home. 100 years ago, with the turn of what do we call the 20th century, the world has become warmer by 1.1 degrees Celsius. All over the world, people are concerned. Not only people, the governments are concerned. The rich countries are with their carbon footprints, polluting the world, their lifestyles, the kind of pollution they are creating. So it is not something which uh, we need to uh, blame one or the other. So all countries of the world, they come together. So the 2015 United Nations Framework on Climate uh, Change, they agree that if we do not change the temperature growth all over the world. So they decided that temperature all over the world should not cross 2 degrees Celsius by 2050. When climate change, you can feel it. So many things are happening. The tsunami, suddenly there are rains. Uh, 
you can feel the heat it is better to sit under the tree rather than be out here in the sun you can feel all these changes we can see that climate change is for real you can see that the south pole the north pole the ice is melting you saw we saw the corona what is the corona corona is another form of cold why is it happening it is happening because of climate change new diseases are mutating doctors biotechnology biomedicine we are not able to comprehend what exactly is happening because diseases pests new forms of diseases are mutating with climate change and we are unable to comprehend all this so our knowledge of what is happening is also at its limits so to paint a picture we may feel that we are heading for a doomsday which is true in one way but we also need to look at the brighter side in Nagaland we have about 4 lakh students covering pre-primary till higher secondary 1.5 lakh students in government schools about 2.5 lakh students in government uh, private schools every day many of your parents who care for you they give you pocket money what do you do you go to the shop you buy needy things like uh, sweets you buy uh, a piece of uh, sweet candy and out of that it is plastic wrapping so every day every day you go to school you are contributing about four into two minimum eight lakh pieces of plastic wrappings and it is all being thrown here and there so you can understand that the kind of pollution we are creating this year we are celebrating world environmental day it was initiated by the united nations uh, environmental program in 1974 this year globally the theme is big plastic pollution we know that plastic pollutes everything we know that the flow of what we call the plastics which are melting the plastics which are gener degenerating it takes a long time but they enter the food chain it enters the earth the soil it enters the what do we call uh, marine ecology it enters the fish and all this comes back to us in the form of food chain so all these things we know that it is not just protecting our earth with the tree and the beautiful things but it is also entering into our food chain thereby we have a lot of diseases the chemical invention of our stomach you see with fast food earlier our grandparents we used to have only slow food today we have fast food entering the market system has made sure that we have fast food so we cannot stop it all this is altering our body system a lot of illnesses a lot of diseases are happening so globally this year we are celebrating the world with big plastic pollution i'm very happy that angami youth organization along with the school education department as well as the public people's participation is what we do we cannot do things on our own so go green breathe clean is the theme if we do not act locally we cannot think globally nagaland or this part of the world it's one of the 25 biologically biological hot spots of the world in other words this is one area amongst the other 25 places all over the world which has such rich biodiversity uh, to translate it the kind of fauna and flora which is so compact here it is one of the hot spots meaning it is at the verge of being threatened with so many extinctions today we know that new species are found here in the form of what do we call frogs in the form of uh, earthworms a lot of new things are being discovered by uh, what do we call biological scientists by scientists so today our responsibility our care for the world there is an ancient what do we call wisdom from the red indians from uh, america they said we do not inherit the world we pass it on to our children so we must remember that today we must protect our world because we cannot live recklessly anymore it is a global concern and we know that here in this part of the world in 1944 great war came to us we were told that a lot of what do we call uh, a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, bombardment took place. The British, in order to defend their soldiers here, it is said that they dropped about 9,000 tons of what do we call bombs here. So you can understand that a lot of ancient forests were destroyed here. Lots of trees which were standing for 300, 400 years were just wiped off so recklessly in a matter of some few hours. Today we do not see any big trees. Actually a place like this, Kisama, we should be having ancient forest trees. Trees which are majestic, trees which will spread its wing and gives us comfortable, what do we call, uh, protect us from the sun. So it is our responsibility, today we plant trees in another 200 years. In another 300 years, let our, let our children, let the children to come, let them understand that today, what we do today, let them appreciate, let them appreciate and enjoy the fruit of what we will be doing today. That is by going green so that we breathe clean. Lastly, but not the least, I thank the media friends. We need your support in all our endeavors. You have been always supportive of what we do. This is something which we children, we the department or the public, are we ourselves, we cannot handle. So we look forward for closer cooperation and we are totally depending, dependent on you. So I congratulate for the huge team which have come and thank you so much. And all the best for today. Thank you. The Angami Youth Organization is immensely grateful to Sir Dr. Kekelule Yome, Honorable Advisor, School Education and ACRT, Government of Nagaland. The officials of the School Education Department, the Samagra Siksha Nagaland, Forest Department, Tourism Department, and students from various schools and colleges, including the teacher, teaching faculty present here. The AYO also would like to express our sincere gratitude to our Madam Temsanaro Ayer, IAS State Mission Director, Samagra Siksha Nagaland and team, the officials from MBSC, Officials, the DEO and the team, press and media fraternity, our special thanks to our Chief Secretary, Government of Nagaland, our special thanks to our former President, Mr. Kelly Witsusi, Mr. Kekre Fuka, Mr. Madoyeka, our XMLA, the Pesama Youth Organization, the Kiwema Youth Organization. We also extend our profound thanks to the Angami Public Organization, the Angami Students Union, for your active partic participation towards this initiative. Mention must be made that everyone who will be taking part in today's World Environment Day commemoration. You are all ambassador of keeping our environment clean and fresh. Thank you all so much for being here with us. Thank you. Ura Uvie. Thank you, Vice President. Okay. I will take the responsibility in protecting the environment. Will you? I will. Again, I will. I will take the responsibility in not littering, I will, you say. I will. I will. Okay, now, my responsibility. For the last time, you respond me by, by saying my responsibility. My honorable man. My responsibility. Thank you. Okay, we will start with, the, with our plantation and cleanliness drive. Uh, we will let our honorable advisor start the plantation, the first plantation for the day. And that is how we are going to start. Those students who are here to get the gloves, you can collect it from the officials. We have... Okay. 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 
Yeah, they get a no me tell to no. I cannot see the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot dog, hot dog. Sir, you can look this side and plan. May the tree grow, bloom, and bear fruit for a thousand generations to come. Yes. God bless. Thank you. Do we have more uh, recipe? Yeah, I think so, I think so, sir. We have plant and fish also. Yeah, you do. You do. Why should we? I said, do the happy. Some customers are happy.